before the big okay, race for Silverware gets underway as spring approaches. We're a long way from spring conditions here in Limerick tonight. Can Munster defend it? Okay, Ulster. Ulster waiting for that second surge. Still going forward. Good body positions by forward. Ulster. They're still driving forward. Looking good for Rob Herring. And they get the try. Well, Rob Herring, incredibly, that's his 28th try in an Ulster shirt. One of his big strengths is inside there. His, his power, his size. And Herring doesn't panic. Looks like Munster stop it initially, but they stay patient. And he wriggles forward. John Cooney, another player who's recently signed a new contract alongside his halfback partner, Billy Burns. It's a, it's a strange one. They've got to find something quickly and try and get a feel good factor back in the group. Mike Laurie, they're testing Laurie in the air. And then he's hammered by Crowley and Simon Zebo. From the screen, it looks like your shoulders made direct contact to the hand. You've come from distance, it is at high speed, and we're not seeing any mitigation. We're seeing that's a high degree of danger, and it's a red card. White line of Ulster defenders, incredible at the moment. Munster hammering and hammering. And then they offside, give away the penalty Ulster for an offside. It'll certainly give them a bit of energy the last seven or eight minutes there and uh, just a reaction. As we approach half time, might be six very soon as Tag Burn tries to go through. Oh, this is one physical Irish derby. Yeah, the, their game has improved since Zebo was sent off. And here's Jack Crowley, won the Triple Crown with the under-20s in the Six Nations. Stays on his feet well. And, yeah, Sean French's inability to get the ball off the field could well cost Munster okay, three points here. Leave it, no, stop it, stop, 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 oh, stop. Oh, Nathan Doak. In the absence of John Cooney, kicks for the points for Ulster, and they do take a 10 points to six lead into half time. Willing to be used and uh, utilised more, and uh, of course, was. They had their own issues and problems, but they were two highs that kind of gave hope and promise that there is a brighter future and there is a bright young players. Nathan Doak. Popping sound off the ball and a successful kick by Dunn. Here's Shane Daly. Oh, and Kieran Treadwell just tipping Daly over there. And where did he land? The arms out for Mike Adamson. 19. Okay, you have lifted him up over the horizontal. He's landed. Can he get some help? Can he get a latch to shovel him over the line? Craig Casey. Here's Farrell again, he almost scored in the first half. The wingers free on the right-hand side, and that man on the wing is Mike Healy. He wants to make this pass, you can see the urgency to get there. That's a brilliant pass, isn't it? Super pass. They've stitched together the phases. The handiwork has been very skillful. Mike Adamson puts his head as deep as he dares, and they go again, and they score this time. It's Alex Cantona who scores. It's a magnificent effort from Munster. It's literally the ball just puffs backwards. backwards. That right. try is OK. It's yeah. a brilliant, brilliant score from them. Let's just look at that. Yeah, that's nothing. It's, it's like, Mike, you yeah. can go ahead with the conversion. Yeah, just over here. 20 seconds to go. Can Munster hold out? Andrew Warwick carries. And they've got their hands on the ball again. It's Tagburn in there once more. Brilliant wrestling work Use by it. the British and Irish Lion. That was fabulous stuff. An exhausting shift from Burn. What work made from him. And that's it. And the final moment belongs to the monster number six. And heavens above, did he deserve that player of the match award? But Munster, what about that victory, Alan Quinlan, after the defeat in Connacht last no, it's week? A, it's, it's a brilliant win, a great second half. They had to withstand a lot of pressure at the start of the match, at the start of the second half. And I think Ulster will look at this and think they lost control, they, they stopped playing, and uh, 
Munster were ferocious. You've got to give them massive credit. You know, they were questioned last week about the work rate, the aggression, the intensity, and they brought it tonight. Even when they were under pressure, the tackles and the defence were superb. It's a brilliant win for Munster.